Hi guys, um, today I would like to show you a brand new scooter on the market which is called in Europe Jewel Pro, in Australia is known as a Dragon Lightning V2. Um, I would like to mention first that I am not, not a professional YouTuber, so there will be no fancy editing, no fancy music, it's going to be very simple um, video which will show you how the scooter looks like. And I will talk a little bit more about the tech uh, specs. Also, I would like to thank, thank myself for buying the scooters. Um, the video is not sponsored, so uh, I was paying for all those scooters. And um, yeah, I'm not asking you for any likes or subscription because I'm not a YouTuber. So now I'd like to tell you more about that scooter. Let me just grab the knife and, and do the unboxing. As far as I know, we are the first people in UK who got those scooters in stock and one of the first people in Europe. Oh god, this look, this look big. The scooter itself is approximately 45 kilograms, so it's pretty heavy, with a box over 50 kilograms. What we're gonna find out in the box, we're gonna find styrofoam just to protect the scooter. I must say the scooter is protected and the scooter is well packed. It's two boxes and plenty of styrofoam so there should be no scratches on this on it or nothing like that. Inside the box we're gonna find the scooter, we're gonna find the charger, which is 67.2 volt output and a three and a half amp charger. So that means the charger itself is pretty fast. Um, where the standard chargers, uh, which comes with most of the scooters, are 1.75 amp. Also, standard UK plug and the toolkit, which contains some different sizes: Allen keys, hex keys, just to help you set the scooter up. And there it is. Wow, this look, this look big. To take the scooter out of the box, you will probably need some help. It's a definitely two man job to take the scooter out. Right. More styrofoam, more styrofoam. Back to the box. Wow, look at that. The scooter looks nice. 11 inch tubeless tires, uh, in that case off-road, with zoom hydraulic brakes installed and 140 millimeters brake rotors. On the back wheel you can see well built and installed in the good spot tire hugger so there's supposed to be no splashes on your back. On the front standard mud guards. The scooter comes with a spring suspension, actually it's an adjustable suspension so you can easily adjust uh, the suspension for your likings. Um, the footrest, nice, big and in my opinion located in the good um, place and installed with a good angle so it's supposed to be quite comfortable. The deck itself is a pretty long deck, the size of it is approximately 65 centimeters long by 26 centimeters wide and it's covered with rubber or silicone mat which surprisingly doesn't come in off at all. Underneath the footrest you've got the hook so when you want your scooter to be folded you want to do just put the hook over here and you can lift the scooter up if you need to. Over here what you see is a plastic cover with a silver um, 
lightning symbol on it it's just because scooter is called dragon lightning in australia about the lights on the scooter as you can tell there is no headlights uh, it's just those small led lights like in most of the scooters uh, one on each side also i'm not sure if you can see guys whether let me move the scooter for you there you go you're supposed to be able to see it now on the middle of the scooter where the lightning symbol is you can see blue led light which is actually quite good because most of the scooters they look like christmas tree and that one is have just only mood um, or accent light i should say on the back of the scooter and that's the idea which i like the most the tail light is just underneath the footrest and brake light as well the only trouble which i got or the only thing which i don't understand is why did they install the brake light which doesn't flash at all so but when you're pressing the brake only those six led lights on three on each side comes up so it's not like very visible but also you've got your indicators which are flowing indicators in my opinion located in the good place so they should be very visible on this side of the scooter you've got your charging port single charging port um, and your kickstand in my opinion kickstand looks very nice and you, you don't have to force the kickstand to to close or open it up um, it works very very well over here you've got some piece of rubber which protecting your scooter from the kickstand um, so it's not going to be scratched in any of those places here so right what we've got over here is our deck um, over here you've got your lock is a three digit um, number you can set up to make sure lock stays closed while the scooter stay in somewhere um, once you've done it and you put your lock number just twist to the right hand side and you are able to open the deck on the front of the deck we've got our controller compartment there is a two controllers and the cables as you can tell the, they are not visible because cables are hidden under the um, metal plate which is nice actually so there is no mess with the cables around at all um, the battery itself is removable so all you need to do if you want to re remove the battery just make sure the scooter is off disconnect this cable um, just like that and you can leave your battery out um, over here there is a two charging additional charging ports in case if you want to take your battery inside and charge it separately without the scooter once you're done put the battery back in connect the cable and this beauty is ready to go the scooter is pretty high and the floor clearance is approximately 19 to 20 centimeters depending on the position of the scooter is if the scooter is not on the kickstand the floor clearance clearance is about 22 centimeters scooter came with two keys and the key ignition is located in the middle of the uh, stem once you switch that on the big lcd um, monochrome display comes on and it will show you your odometer or trip battery level gear you actually using right now and your speed on the bottom of the screen you've got ready a uh, green sign which is telling you the scooter is ready to go um, once you switch the lights on the blue symbol appears on the display as well um, whenever you're going to switch your indicators on left or right hand side indicator the little arrow on bottom corners will appear and it will flash so you can easily tell the indicator is running and there is also a horn which is more like a baby horn because in my opinion this is very fast scooter and uh, it's supposed to be equipped with a proper motorcycle horn the switch itself is a pretty cheap standard Chinese switch so it's not the best quality but it will do the job on the right hand side you've got your one two and three uh, gear switch so it's not like a, like a standard switch as you used to see on uh, 
uh, Kabul for you or any other scooters because there is built in with uh, LCD display over here just because the LCD display is different they installed three level um, switch which is actually in my opinion quite good next to the switch you've got your thumb throttle um, with a single or dual button underneath it which is quite nice uh, also the scooter um, can be um, bought with a twist throttle depending on what you like what you prefer so there is a two different options the handlebar grips itself they feel quite comfortable and they've got those aluminium um, bits on the end which will protect your scooter from uh, scratches uh, what I must mention, what I must say once you switch the display on and you're using your first, second or third gear you can see once I press the button second or two seconds later the gear change on the display so it's a little bit um, slow I would say but we'll see how the, the scooter performs just a quick thing about the suspension as I said before is a spring suspension it's pretty soft and the suspension uh, can be easily adjusted in my opinion is good enough for off-road and the road uh, riding this scooter came with a triple clamp version um, it's very easy to open the stem itself has a, like a slot over here so the clamp cannot be turned to the other direction so it's staying in one position all you need to do is just slide the clamp down adjust those nuts on the other side and push clamp in and it's solid stem itself as you can tell by the shape is not circle it's more like circle with a flat side uh, so, so basically it's like something new i never seen anything like it there is no welding on it so uh, it's just the two screws on the front two screws on the back and one screw on each side so everything sounds to be solid there is some confusion about the um, motor uh, power output um, there's some misleading information online you can find which says uh, those motors are 1600 watts some of the people says they are 1200 there is no um, correct information whatsoever according to what the factory saying is 1600 watts and the place I bought the scooters from they confirmed that and it's 1600 watts however there is no sign on any wheel which will confirm that I have to admit that I changed the handlebar for a wider one um, the standard handlebar is approximately 68 centimeters wide where non-standard red one is approximately 74 or 76 um, but in my opinion it's more comfortable to ride on the scooter with a wide, wider handlebar
55 degrees, no problem whatsoever. Three, two, one, go. about the scooter the scooter is very fast and keep in mind when I was doing the uh, speed test the scooter was taken out of the box so it was halfway charged um, the scooter itself is very well built um, it's very sturdy and very solid very comfortable um, it has amazing torque uh, amazing uh, I'm, I'm surprised with that um, comfortable wide and long deck with bright LCD uh, display, very visible display during the day, day. It's, it's just amazing. It's how the scooter is supposed to look like and how, how you're supposed to use the scooter and appreciate the scooter. So that one uh, is a big, big plus for the display and the deck. Um, cons. About the, there is a couple of things I would like to mention. The first is the handlebar. The stock handlebar is not as wide as it's supposed to be. This scooter is supposed to be equipped with the wider handlebar, so that's why I changed this one. Uh, it's more comfortable, better maneuverability, and it works better. Um, another thing which I don't like is uh, off-road tires. I'm not a big fan of off-road tires because I'm not doing off-roading uh, at all, so uh, they are quite noisy. 
uh, but I must say they are performed very well here. Another thing is no P settings. You cannot customize the scooter at all. The scooter is just literally ready to go and it is on the top settings already, so you cannot change anything. I'll probably keep the scooter for myself because this beast is worthy. <laughs>